Hi everybody and welcome to the demo of the basic features for the comportal.com. I want to let you know that all the features we're going to go through today, they're all offered free. After creating a user account and logging in, you'll be able to start using our services right away. After logging in, you'll notice on the navigation of the site, the My Sites tab. This is the main page in which it shows all the different systems that you're remotely monitoring on the comportal.com. You can organize them by group, and then it's organized by site. So you can have multiple processors on a site. For instance, this Veil site here has three processors. You can see the three there. I've prepared one of our portable units for this demo. It's right here. So basically, it's our lighting demo kit. At the top of the page, you can see the dashboard. Now, that shows anything that really requires your attention. You can see here that it's put an entry in there for the connection being restored. It had been offline for three minutes as I was moving it around. That's fine. Next you can see the WAN IP address. Of course that's really handy. The next table shows all the systems that are located at that site. We only have one. It's our lighting demo kit. We'll drill down into that a little bit later. Next is a feature we call Click Connect. It's a feature that allows you one-click access to any IP administratable devices that you may have on a remote site. For instance, the router. Let me just show you how it works. One click, there you are. Enter in your username, password, and there you are. A very handy feature indeed. I'll show you how to add a new one. Basically, give it a name. Let's say CCTV. DVR, it's on port 81, any notes, save it, and there it is for your use. Now I want to show you all the information that's available when you're monitoring our systems with our services. Of course we have the dashboard at the top. You can see that same error from before. That's because it's from this system specifically. You can see the LAN IP address of the processor. Pretty handy. And then it shows the last time since it contacted our servers, well, about 12 minutes ago. And you can see that the program has been running for about 8 days, and it's got a pretty good uptime. These red stripes here indicate a time when there was no network connection to the processor, or we basically had the unit unplugged. That can be handy for all sorts of troubleshooting. Next we have all the program header information. Now you can get this information of course if you remotely connect to a processor, but it's nice to have it in one spot for all your systems together. It's really handy to see you know, which path a certain program was compiled from or who the last person was that worked on it. One of the things we're really happy about is this little feature here. We're calling it our Ethernet Offline Monitor. So basically we've got a TPMC 8X here that we're monitoring. The idea is that once you have it attached to our system, you'll get an email notification as soon as that 8X drops offline. Very handy indeed. Imagine that your client is showing up to use the system and the 8X is offline for whatever reason. If it had been offline for a couple days, you would have had notification a couple days ago and maybe had a chance to deal with it before the client just got frustrated. This is, of course, why we built this stuff. It allows us to be better informed about what's happening with our client systems in real time, ultimately allowing you to offer better service for your clients. One of the next features is what we call alarm monitors. Now basically, you can attach anything in here from your programming to trigger any alarms, email notifications, you name it. For instance, we've got projector lamps in here. When a projector lamp is getting to a certain age, you can trigger that alarm, it'll send an email out. This is our easier, faster solution to email notifications. Next we have our remote error log. This allows you to collect all your error logs from all your processors and have them in one place stored remotely. I want to give you a quick rundown of the chart plotter. I think this is really neat. I have it set up on a different system on a different site. Let's just go there. It's on this Cadenwood system. Now, also a pack too mini. Now here we have the charting of three temperature sensors throughout this home. The processor was actually offline for this duration. Now, let's just drill in a little bit into this time window. Now what you can see here is the normal fluctuation of temperature over time. Now the temperature began to drop off here and we were able to notify the client that there was something wrong. What actually happened was the boiler failed 
at this point here you can see that the client brought in some temporary heaters until the boiler actually got fixed and you can see it spiked up so we can actually drill down into that information and scroll across it's pretty neat now you can use this application to track any system metrics like temperatures you know wine cellar energy usage you name it whatever your imagination can come up with have a look at our services page and you can read into all the different community services that we offer there's a few more than I outlined in this video but take your time there's some neat ones in there so what you need to do to get started is download the example program available in the download section of the sidebar of our website when you open that up check out the implementation of all the modules that we have available for all the services we just went through in this video so thanks for your time and enjoy